All right, welcome everybody in Twitch chat and also on YouTube for our next deck. Blue, green, merfolk, or Simic merfolk. Um, is Jade Light Ranger a merfolk? Yes, it is. Yeah, Jade Light Ranger is a merfolk. Um, I think merfolk scout, just like uh, merfolk branch walker, I believe, merfolk scout. Um, so yeah, so this is another donation deck. Today we're playing a lot of donation decks. You can always tell that by the uh, DD, by uh, the, the records here. Um, and so Merfolk is a deck that I haven't ever played, actually. This is going to be a new experience for myself. So it'll be uh, pretty fun there to play something new. So we're just like a, a blue-green creature aggro deck where we're going to be trying to uh, get off to an early lead, um, get ahead of the opponent by us having like these one, a bunch of one drops and two drops, and then try to uh, chip in for the last points of damage with the help of Zagana. And Hadana's Climb, or outlast our opponent by making our creatures big with Kumena, um, making Kumena unblockable, and so on. So uh, let's go ahead and try it out. I think I think this deck is is honestly not so bad. So yeah, how do deck donations work? So yeah, it's just so if you'd like your deck to be played on stream, um, it's just a twenty dollar donation. And you can use the link down below. Um, there's an, in the info panel. There's a, a big banner there, and there's a whole lot of uh, information about it there as well. Just twenty dollar donation, and you can pick which day you want me to play your deck and which spot, first, second, or third, or fourth throughout the day, um, as well. So either, uh, and um, and that's it. We have a we have a donation deck tomorrow leading off the day, but that's the only one that I have in the queue right now. And there we go. And I play in this league and play till we win five or lose two. And if we only play a couple, like we did the the Grixis burn, then maybe I'll go through and play some some ranked with it as well um, to get a get a little more practice and uh, talk about the deck and everything and things I like and things I don't like and stuff at the end as well. All right, so things I like here is our, our opening hand. Certainly like having Benthic Biomancer right away on turn one. So uh, when we dap this, we get to draw, then discard. Um, the big question is if I want to adapt it immediately, but then in that case, if I do that, I don't get to have Spell Pierce up. All right, I like being able to have Spell Pierce up, so let's just play another island, get another one out, and have Spell Pierce available. So, is it Drake's has Spell Pierces of their own? Whoops. I certainly wanted to adapt one before. I, I just clicked one too many times. Gutter snipe? Gutter snipe's a problem. That card, that card can deal a lot of damage to us. Hmm, the Gutter Snipe Primal Amulet deck. Interesting. The Biomancers here are pretty cool with Hadana's Climb, how every time we put a counter on them, we get to draw a card, discard a card. Yeah, opponent seems like a good sport. Yep. Yeah, saying nice to the Spell Pierce. Yep. Pirate's Pillage. I wonder if they're a Storm deck.
Yeah, I'm liking our Merfolk deck so far. Definitely liking our lands, too. I think that it's helped that we were playing these cool islands and forests. Dun, 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 dun. So let's get some counters on all these things, give them trample. Oh wait. Um. Yeah, I should have played Silver Girl first. I messed that up. I'm not sure if it'll matter. It seems like we have lethal here. Unless our opponent has like some burn spell. Yeah, so we had lethal anyway, but no, I messed that up. I can't activate Hidana. We need we need another uh, mana for Hidana. Yeah, the Biomancers looked really sweet. They looked really good. Alright, so Spell Pierce. Uh, was good there, and I'm expecting Spell Pierce to continue to be good against our opponent. Um, seems like a Shaper Sanctuary match, too, where they're just going to use Burn Spells to, like, kill our things. So, Burn Spell, Spell Pierce. Sorry, so yeah, so, so Sanctuary, Spell Pierce. So, that's four cards. Um, I think we cut... I think Jade Bearer is kind of our worst card. I want to take out Jade Bearer and one Branch Walker. Could see getting rid of a Zagana. Honestly, maybe I get rid of a Zagana. I guess the Trample is not going to matter as much. Let's get this Branch Walker back. All right, let's try this. Yeah, we went 0-2 with Grixis Burn. Um. The second match, the second match at game three, um, we had an expansion exiled with light up the stage, and it didn't stop and let me cast the expansion. I wasn't holding control because I was Pen Hawkeye at the time. Usually, it stops and lets you cast your expansion, but I guess because it was exiled with light up the stage, it didn't let me, and so I didn't get to copy the three damage burn spell. And like the next turn, our opponent was at three. Like it would have been lethal, and we just didn't get to cast that expansion. So. So we really should have won that second match, but we didn't, and it was sad. All right, so Silver Girl Adept lets us... Um, We'll play that early, to cycle through early. Four legendaries is a bit much, but Kumena is just such a powerful card. Um, but I could see taking out one Kumena, I suppose. I know I'm not holding up Spell Pierce here, but the problem with holding up Spell Pierce is I, I showed my opponent Benthic Biomancer last turn, so if I don't play Benthic Biomancer, it doesn't look good for us. But then I don't get to hold up Spell Pierce, of course. So it doesn't look great for us either way. I'm just going to discard the Spell Pierce. So I'm, I'm just going to be tapping out here. Hey, Abigail. Oh no! Where's I need that spell pierce? I 
And now, now I don't have a creature with a counter on it for Zagana to draw a card. All right, fiery cannonade. That's a good card. Just went to an IRL draft and won all my matches. Way to go, two nails. And then we have Cobb with the sub. Thank you so much for resubbing there, Cobb. Getting that three month in there. I do appreciate that. Um, the good news is next turn, like Zagana's big, and next turn Zagana's gonna be even bigger. Goes from big to bigger. Eight eight's pretty big. It's even bigger. Thanks, Todd. Enjoy the stream. Keep it up. Aw, thanks, Cobb. Alright, blue mana. What can you do with that? And Zagana gives itself trample. Each any creature you control the will encounter on as trample, so we got an eight 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 trample here. Alright, we got the, the Shaper Sanctuary in play too, so even if they start targeting our stuff, we get to draw cards. I'm looking at, looking for Zagana to finish this one out for us. Of course, I cannot cast Silvergill. I need a uh, Merfolk in my hand to reveal to be able to do that. This deck is slippery. He's slippery when wet. All right. Good job, Zagana. Merfolk starting off with a win. Want to know? Starting off with a win. Yeah, I would have to just untap and play it. Yeah, but I meant like that's why I didn't play the the um, the silver girl adept that previous turn. That's why I didn't play it out of my hand. But yeah, I could wait till the next turn and have the five mana. Mm -hmm. Also, hey, Kalu King. I've had some long queue times today. Longer waiting times today. So we got Merfolk right now, and then Mardu Riches after this. We're playing Revel the Riches in Mardu. After this. So it looks like we weren't able to get a a pair, so that's why it had like the draw thing. It just wasn't able to pair us. So we just gotta res reset. And try again. Yeah, all those names, uh, the Grixis, Mardu, Simic, all that kind of stuff, those are names for the colors of the deck. Simic means blue and green. Mardu means black, white, and red. Grixis, blue, black, red. So like all, like the first word, First words here are all are all uh, color indicators of the deck. Been really happy with the Benthic Biomancer so far. Hmm, Merfolk Mirror.
those are all just words um, that uh, just wizards made up for the for like the, those color combinations in in the uh, stories in the the magic lores. Um, yeah, so some of them are from different from different. Uh, um, Uh, I don't know the right word for it. Different uh, planes. There we go. That's the word. Different planes. All right, so we're gonna gonna go ahead and start looting a bunch with the benthic biomancer. Hmm. Next turn, I'm planning on going Jade Bearer plus Branch Walker. Uh, get two two counters on Biomancer, loot twice. Probably can find a fourth land with all those with all those draws. I guess we're going to be able to loot three times because we can put the Jade Bearer, have a put a counter on Biomancer as well. That's usually like just the names what they're always called. Um, before before Ravnica, a lot of times we would just call it. Like, sometimes instead of saying Azorius, it's easier to say blue-white. And we would just say, like, blue-white control a lot. Um, instead of Azorius control. But then with Ravnica, kind of makes us say the other part. The next core set will be out um, sometime in the summer. Probably, like, July-ish. It's, that's usually when they're out, like around July, um, give or take a little bit, maybe you know late June. I want to play Kumena, but I don't want Kumena to get countered. I feel like they have a counter spell. <laughs> yeah, the the corset refers to. Um, just a set with a lot of, um, there are a lot of reprints in core sets. And, um, they're basically just kind of sets that are easier for beginners to, to jump in on. Um, that's like kind of their their goal and they don't really have like a specific like theme of a plane like other sets do and so they're not like attached to having to have specific cards in them so like you can have it opens up the design space so like they can print uh, whatever cards they think would be good for standard to kind of help balance standard uh, that they don't have to worry about like it fitting in like on that specific plane you know like cards they print in guilds of ravnica for example they want those cards to be able to fit in the story of not only the of what's going on but then also it had to fit on the plane of ravnica uh, the next corset will not uh rotate out whenever this corset comes in uh rotation happens once a year whenever the fall set is it's like a year away from guilds of ravnica it's it's the the last set of the year uh is when rotation will be and um, at that time, uh, at that time, all four sets from before Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan, Core Set 2019, and Dominaria are all going to rotate out at that that time. That'll be the set after Core Set 2020. Um, Xerox, yeah, I'll, I'll take a look at that list. I could certainly see myself maybe playing it. I'll, I'll see. Um, I am saving it over here, opening it up in a tab. All right, other questions. Uh, how's the deck performing? It's performing pretty well. Um, yeah, we j just started. We're you know we're one and zero, and we just started the second. We're in the first game of the next match here. But yeah, we're performing pretty well. So we're going to lose Nicol Bolas whenever 
Not when the next core set comes in. But when when like the regular rotation happens. So this can be a 2-3. So that's why I want these to be 3-3s three because this can be a 2-3. Um, I think I'm just attacking with one though. And then I'll just tap my other five and put a counter on, put another counter on all my, my creatures. Yeah, if they print a card exactly, yeah, if they just, if they reprint Nicol Bolas... If they reprint Nicol Bolas in uh, 2020, then the M19 would be legal uh, as well. Yes, because we have like some cards that are reprinted, like the the a lot of the lands, like the shock lands and everything. Those have been reprinted, um, and so you can use old shock lands uh, right now. So we get we get to loot twice with these biomancers. Yeah, uh yep, return to Ravnica block was the last time they were legal and standard. They've been legal three times. The we've had three Ravnica blocks in history, and those have been the three times that Shocklands have been in standard. Climb's good, but Miss Finder is what I want. Hey, Alice. Hope you're having a good day, Alice. All right, let's get another counter on. These things, they can chump block. If they block block, they're taking 4, 8, 12, 15... Oh, yeah, Omnivus. Shocklands got reprinted. That's Those are the lands in Guilds of Ravnica, and... Like, those are the lands in Guilds of Ravnica, and... Uh, and Ravnica Allegiance. Those are the Shocklands. That's why I was talking about how they got reprinted. I wonder if I should have just used the Spell Pierce on that Curious Obsession before to make them tap two mana. Our opponent doesn't have lethal, though, even if they pumped up the Surge Mare twice. Um, you'll get... They wouldn't be able to kill us yet. Yep, the Ixalan lands are all check lands. The only, the only shock lands are the 10 uh, in Ravnica. Those are the only ones. Stand. 
They have three blockers. Go block, block, block. They are taking lethal. Yeah, so this doesn't matter. I don't need to show my opponent spell pierce. They can like block five, block five, block four, and they take four, eight, ten. Um. Mono White Judith was like Mono White Aggro with all the white one drops and everything, but it splash for Judith and heroic reinforcements. And light up the stage. Hmm. I'm not sure what I want to do here. If anything. The deck felt a little underpowered. Mono White Judith, that is. It was missing, like, Venerated Luxodon uh, as, a, as a big thing it was missing. But we played a lot of close games, just didn't, you know, didn't win... All of them, but yeah, I guess we went two two. We are we went we started O two with some close losses, and then we kind of rolled through a couple opponents. Do I want spell pierce more spell pierces in this matchup? We didn't use spell pierce that game, but that doesn't mean it's not good. I guess I'm just gonna keep it the same. I use a uh, voice meter banana. and an audio router as well. Um I'm not sure exactly how it works honestly. I don't I'm not the most technical technologically sound person. Um I just I watched a YouTube video of it. Like I just watch a YouTube video. I just like search for a YouTube video of like how to how to remove music from videos, you know, for from video recordings, and it came up. So I just kind of recommend doing that. That's that's all I did. I just like Google searched a or like YouTube searched and found something and and just kind of followed the step by step. And so I just I have it set up. I don't know exactly how it works or. Or why, but it, it works, so. <laughs> That's all I got. Um, Jade Bear, I, I kind of thought the Jade Bear would put a counter on itself, but I guess that was a, that's like a two mana Merfolk that I was thinking about that did that, so. You know, it was just like a, a one mana 1 1, which isn't thrilling. Um, so now I can resolve another Mistbinder or Kumena. I guess we'll just get another Mistbinder in here. We get Mistbinder and Speaker. I like getting these Mistbinders. Even though, like, Silver Goal Adept's like a better card to play early, usually. I like, because our opponent's playing Counter Magic, I want to make sure I get the Lords in play first. That is, that is a good point. One man, two, two would be pretty strong at common. That is a good point. That'd be a really strong common. This is a one man, two, two, but you have to work for it. So, yeah, the J Bear. Yeah, so it makes sense why the J Bear does that, but. Um, I don't know why I was thinking that it didn't do that. Opinion on Kopala, Warden of Waves, and Swift Warden. Um, Swift Warden... Hmm. Alright, well, I'm certainly just getting Kamena in play also. So that man means I guess I'm playing this. Putting a counter here and attacking with this thing. 
Um, Swift Warden's a little expensive for what it does. I'm not, I'm not, like, Swift Warden's awesome and limited. I'm not sure if it's worth it and constructed, but it's awesome and limited. Cop Copala, I don't remember what Copala does. I don't remember what Cop Copala Warden of Waves does. This specific 75 that we're playing here isn't is not my list. This is my first time playing Merfolk, um, honestly. But this this is a donation deck that was that was donated to see play um, that I've I've been enjoying. But it wasn't. It's not my list though. So like I know somebody else was asking about like specific cards in the list earlier. I've liked this list that we're playing though. I, I it's felt pretty strong. Um. You know, sleep, sleep's a big problem for us. We have the two Tempest Callers in the sideboard that I, I honestly wish the Tempest Callers, I probably wish that, that those were sleep, because I could bring that in here, but Tempest Caller um, doesn't really help us because Mono Blue deck doesn't block very well. Yep, we're dead to an island. I can't do anything about it. That card will kill me as well. So yeah, like we have Tempest Caller on our sideboard, but it only just taps the creatures, but it's not that they don't untap. That part about sleep not letting our creatures untap was huge. All right, maybe we want these spell pierces, and especially on the play where we get to be a little bit ahead, so we get to be a little more aggressive. Uh, I think it's a, a better chance our spell pierce can counter like a Curious Obsession as well. Um, and then for that, climb... Maybe Climb just comes on out. Climb's a good card, though. I think it's kind of between Climb and Kumena. Or Zagana. I like, the, I like the Trample a lot in this matchup, though. So I think I'm just going to take out the Climbs for a couple Spell Pierces. Crushing Canopy is too expensive for that 3 mana to destroy a Flyer. I, I don't want, like, the, the three mana removal spell. It's just kind of too expensive. This is a good curve. This is a good curve. I'll be a little surprised if we lose this game. Our, our opponent's going to have to have an awesome hand to beat this. So what am I going to do with Kumena next turn? Well, that's... That's a that's a good start for the opponent. That's their best start. One drop obsession. Hmm, deck command isn't working too well. Let me try it. There it goes. And that's that's certainly how we could lose. They have one drop obsession if we just draw like nothing but lands. Um So I can either attack for four or draw a card. I guess we we just attack for four. You like mainboarding Disdainful Stroke and Negates in Merfolk? I don't know about Disdainful Stroke, but I, I could see Negate. Like, we're playing Spell Pierce, which I like I like having that. Hmm. 
Do you think quench might be better than negate in the sideboard? No, I like negate. Negate's just a, a really solid card. And those matchups that you want it. That doesn't mean that I, I wouldn't like Quench also. I, I do like I do think Quench is pretty good. I'm I feel that Quench is a little underplayed. Well good thing about Zagana is it gives the creature trample, so you get to just trample over. So they kinda have to have sleep here. Please don't have it. No sweep. No sleep. No sleep. Good. That's not a sleep. That does block something. It does block that something very well. So it blocks like Kumena or whatever. We of course can make Kumena unblockable though. But if they have... It's certainly possible they have Trickster. I guess I don't get to adapt anymore. I wanted to make sure that I got the full control mode on here. I wanted to make sure that uh, Kumena was attacking first before making it unblockable. Oh, why'd I play the breeding pool already? I was not expecting just bounce spell. I was not expecting disperse. Okay, you're just being so aggressive today. Yeah, and I played that breeding pool in. I could have just gone second main Kumena here. It's, yeah, the, you have to scroll down a little bit for the Mono White Judith list. Um, I posted it like two days ago. But we just didn't end up playing it the last couple of days. Um, I could, I would, I mean, I like Judith a whole lot as a card. It's, uh, I was really, really high on that card uh, during the preview season also, but it hasn't really found a home yet. So if you're, you know, if you have like a, a finite number of wild cards and you have other things you want to spend them on, I could see not crafting the Kumena and spending them on other things. A little surprised our opponent just didn't attack there first and draw two cards and see, like, they could have drawn a sleep with the two cards, maybe. All right, 2-0. Merfolk felt pretty good. Nice, Azark. 
As are Ark, you're doing awesome. Good job. Free to play player managed to get almost all of the RNA rares so far with just drafts. Well, they they had sleep sleep one of the game two for them, so they they would have had to sideboard out sleep between games two and three, and that's so that's unlikely, but possible, I suppose. All right, good hand. Oh, sorry, Zagana, cost a little too much mana. Mono blue again. I'm gonna keep Spell Pierce up for Curious Obsession. And so that means I'm just playing the Jade Bearer. Hopefully they don't have their own Spell Pierce also. Man, brutal. I tried. But we're on the battlefield first and we're we're ahead. And that's where you want to be against Mono Blue, because they have all their counter magic, which isn't so good. So Really, the big thing here is we just wanted them to not have Tempest Gen now. But they can't have everything, right? They can't have Storm Tamer plus Cure of Succession and Spell Pierce and then also Tempest Gen, right? It's reasonable. Our hand doesn't really get any better than this. And we're not losing by too much yet. They could have Merfolk Trickster. I'm still gonna attack in. I can't just like sit back and and like with them having like the curious obsessions, I have to try to end the game as fast as possible. So I, I don't think I could just sit back and try to play around Merfolk Trickster. Um Need to get damage in. Hope they're drawing all their spell pierces. Uh. dead. Yeah, I'm just dead. Uh, great hand for the opponent. Alright, let's get these spell pierces in.
Just do the same sideboard we did last time. Bring in the spell pierces, take out the climbs. I do the traditional constructed event. That's what it's called. It's best of three. Uh, you play till you win five or lose two. Um, yeah, I think that the, the gems feel like they make up for the less rares and mythics. Yeah. In, in particular, the, the biggest good change is how with when you open packs, how you can't open up a fifth copy in the packs, that that completely makes up for the, the ICRs, in my opinion. Dang. Can't mulligan again. I didn't play any ranked last night. I'm still in bronze though. I've only I've only done ranked twice before. So I'm I'm still in bronze. It'll be nice to play against mono blue where they don't have one drop curious obsession. I don't know what that's like, though. The J Bear is a, a good draw for us. We gotta try to race. Let's get this big deep root elite. Hey Spencer. Going good. Going good. So yeah, putting all the counters on like this deep root elite immediately because it, it gets to attack right away. Um and we're gonna need to you know deal more damage than our opponent's doing, and they also get to draw another card at every turn so they get that benefit as, as well I I prefer it with with mono blue. I think that Terramander, Siren Storm Tamer, and the the unblockable one drop Merfolk should be your one drops. I think you should play all three of those. Um, yeah, that, that's what I prefer there. Hey, Fishies with the tier one sub. Thank you for that support, Fishies. That gets some hype in the chat. <laughs> Um, Deep Root Waters, is it too slow in our deck? Probably. I haven't, while we've been playing these games, oh, I guess today's sub storm count is nine. I was off on the storm count, it looks like. I haven't been, like, playing these games and thinking, man, I wish I had, um... I wish I had, uh... And this is going backwards, it's 82. I wish I had deeper waters.
Mono White Judith is already up on YouTube. Uh, both that and Grixis Burn are actually already up. Fishy says, always professional and high quality stream. Todd, appreciate what you bring to the game. Well, thanks, Fishies. That's that's my goal. Hmm. All right, getting the double block in. Did I, I already play the land, right? No, I did not play land, nice. Good, so now we, we can have Zagana. Uh, next turn we get to adapt Zagana and make it an 8-8. So as long as our opponent doesn't have sleep, this looks good for us. They could of course have Trickster though, I suppose also. Yeah, like I, I haven't played with deeper water, so I'm I'm not saying that it's bad. It's just the games that we've played so far, I haven't I haven't wanted the card in these games. But we've we've been playing against like mono blue, like where you know like they're really fast. So like we've been playing really fast games. So taking taking a turn off uh, hasn't been an option for us. And so this should be lethal. Looks like it. Um, if they have dive down. I guess dive down means they stay at one. So it's not lethal. Dive down means they get to stay alive. Oh, the benthic has been awesome for us. Uh, with the other shena shenanigans of like putting counters on the benthics to uh, just go through the deck and draw and discard and everything. Especially like the first the first match that we played um we had like a, two benthics that were like both like five five to put like a bunch of counters on them and they were it was awesome just kind of going through our deck drawn and discarding and looting all the time yeah jay jack I'm, we'll yeah we'll see how the these two leagues go. The Mardu Riches could take a while, um, but I may play some a couple extra games of like Mardu Angels and some ranked or something at the end of the stream. We'll see. Been going quickly so far, um, but we've been playing a lot of aggro decks today, and so that's why. Um. Yeah, and this deck's not even going with the unblockable Merfolk, also. I feel like Canopy costs too much mana at 3 mana. But I don't know. The other thing is, like, what, what would I take out for Canopy? It's like... Because I certainly, like against Mono Blue, you, you want to get out early on the battlefield. I want to keep all these one and two drops. I would have to like take out Zagana or Kumena for Canopy. Um, or I guess Spell Pierce on the draw here. Could maybe play one Canopy over a Spell Pierce. No, I, I feel like they just... I mean, I could be wrong, but I just don't want to play the three mana spell. It just makes their dive downs and uh, spell pierces just a lot better. You know, like they have like that kind of disruption and I just don't want it like a three mana spell. This hand sucks. Um... 
triple spell pierce that I can't even play. Sand's even worse. Sand's not so bad if we get land. This is probably better than five. This one can win. <laughs> not this land. Oh, man. So I, I just hate Unclaimed Territory as a card. I really don't like putting Unclaimed Territory in decks. You just, like, we can't cast Spell Pierce. Alright, I guess we're just not casting the Spell Pierce. for us, Jay Bear has been a, a, a fine card. Um, yeah, it's it's been a fine card um, as like the one mana option. Um, and it's it's helped out with the Benthic Biomancer as well. No, I'm not playing Deep Root Waters. No essence captor. Merfolk aren't, like, super competitive, but I've been pleasantly surprised with how our deck has been holding up here. You know, we're, you know, we're 2-0 and and we're in a game 3. Oh, yeah, Grixis Burn we didn't do very good with, um... But hmm, I want Kumena to resolve. I think that was more of, or like, yeah, watch watch the video, or you know, listen to it at the end. Um, also, you can find out more there with that. We actually played kind of good matchups, but just weird things happened for our losses. You were trying to play Merfolk back when Hardikiran was a thing. Ooh, yeah, that's kind of tough. Hardikiran was a that was a pretty well designed card. I kind of like vehicles. I think vehicles are fun. All right, I guess time to start playing a bunch of tutus. Well, 
yeah, that Wizard's Retort is really good news for us. Get to land this Kumena. And I, so I could attack for, so I can either deal two damage or draw a card. I think drawing a card is better than dealing two damage um, at this stage. You know, like we're, we're both at 20. Um, at this stage, I think I'd rather draw a card. Man, I really wish I had Crushing Canopy right about now. Hmm. I was really hoping for another Merfolk um, here. You know, something else that we could play here. Because I'm, I'm going to be tapping Kumena and just putting a counter on all these things. Yeah, Tempest Gen's good. Yeah, like any three mana or less Merfolk would have been a great play here. That hurt drawing land, land, land. Oh man, other Tempest Gin. Stop. Yeah, the other Tempest Gen lets them attack. Kumena, yeah, if we put all the counters on Kumena and, and and make it unblockable, it's just it's not gonna race these Tempest Gens, I don't think. That's a good card. That's a good card. That's a real good card. Exactly what I wanted to see. Yeah, I mean that's that's how we lost a game before to Mono Blue with sleep. Sleep's really, uh, you know, it's a real, real problem. Wow. They. Looks like they likely have sleep. They're just willing to. They're just willing to go to one. I don't. Yeah, this has got to be sleep. It doesn't matter if Kumena is unblockable. There, like they just block another five-five. Like you know, it doesn't matter which five-five they block. It do, it doesn't matter. I certainly did not miss lethal. My opponent blocks Kumena or blocks you know they don't if they don't block Kumena they just block deeper elite. Or any of these other five power creatures, any of those. No, you cannot make it blockable after they blocked it, because it's it's already been blocked. Right. You cannot make it unblockable after it's declared. Once once it's declared as a blocker, then it's then it's been blocked. You gotta do that before you have to make it unblockable before blocks. So yeah. That sleep card's been a problem. We have Tempest Callers in our sideboard and I really really wish these Tempest Callers were sleeps of our own. Um that's that's like the one thing that I have the one thing that I think I would change in this deck list so far uh, besides maybe these unclaimed territories but the one the one big thing is 
Even though unclaimed territory is, you know, perfect here in this specific spot, but... Sleep was really impressive in both of our mono blue matches. We lost both times our opponent had it. Um, but we have Tempest Caller, which Tempest Caller doesn't, doesn't help us. Um, in that matchup, because Tempest Caller would tap their, their Tempest Gins, but they would still get to attack with it, so... Guild gates. Guild gates. Hmm. Well, our start's pretty strong, just a bunch of two mana, or sorry, two power creatures. Don't know exactly what our opponent's doing here. Looks like they may just be Bant Nexus with... I'm going to play around that a little bit. doesn't seem like they're a gate deck. It looks like they just have a Simic Guild Gate in their deck. I'm attacking with two of the creatures. Um, keeping the other two back because we can draw a card with Kumena with the other two. So we're looking for our spell pierces. We only have two in the main deck, I believe. I think that's right. <laughs> yeah, auto tap didn't help us out to pretend like we had spell pierce here. I could certainly have Cleansing Nova, which would be bad for me. Hey, Contreras. Make these creatures big. I'm switching from black white knights to black white angels or black white control. Any tips? I would recommend going to the black white angels, I think. Um, I would recommend uh, going there. Yeah, I know there's a, a Twitch extension for Stream Decker. I've never I don't have it set up though, as you can tell. Um, I don't really know how to set it up either, or if it's worth it. Um, yeah, with, yeah, I know you just mentioned it there, JPC, but that's, I haven't had many people ask, uh, for it, so that's why I haven't, I don't have it set up. But yeah, the problem with with Black White Angels, though, of course, is there is a lot of mythics uh, that you need there. Mm -hmm. 
Zagana getting countered is that's a huge blow to us because the trample that Zagana provides was um, was something that I was counting on. Sell the Wreckage is a great card. Oh, that's a good, I mean, that's, I think that was a good settle for our opponent. Yeah, like they would have been at five with no creatures in play, and now they just get a lot more um, creatures. Have I seen the pig reanimator deck? I have not seen any pig reanimator deck. Yeah, I like I like sweeper or I like settle too as like a designed card. I think it is a, a well designed card. I I don't like how they printed wilderness reclamation with it though. Kind of wish they didn't have wilderness reclamation to go with with settle. Yeah, I could just make Kumeta unblockable. I suppose I could do that. I guess I kind of forgot about that. Bleh. Let's see if they have another. Let's see if they have another settle, I guess. No more settles. All right, so more spell pierces, more negates, um, canopy. All those cards. Hmm. Everything kind of has a, a place in our deck. I guess Jade Bearer. I mean, I guess I can trim a Zagana. Maybe I have... I guess I don't need Climb. Yeah, I guess I don't need Climb. All right, so trim a Zagana, get the Climb. Um, 63. Do I just get rid of Jade Bearer? I guess, I guess it's Jade Bearer. All right, let's go with this. What's the best counter to red right now? Um, there's a lot of things. Red's not very good. But overall, like, angels and stuff are. The thing is, is red is so much better in best of one than what it is in best of three. Just um, how the... Um, how it works, how you, how you take a look at two hands and then they give you the better of the two hands. It just really kind of breaks how good red is. So for, for best of one, um, yeah, like that's just a different format. Um, 
yeah, I just, I don't play best of one myself, but I would imagine you'd want something with like four Knight of Autumns and then a, a bunch of like the angels and I don't know, maybe like, you don't want like Lyra's Shalai, like Shalai is, is awesome. You'd maybe want like four Shalai, honestly. You just want to really just skew your deck to just beat Mono Red. Just a bunch of Shalai's and Lyra's and Knight of Autumns. Um, and stuff like that. You could also go Esper Control. I don't know if you want to be three color. But yeah, if you are three color, you could, you know, Basilica Bell Hunt is really good there too. Spyglass. You want to stop Kumena with Spyglass? It's fine with me. Yeah, Revitalize is awesome. Yeah, Revitalize is, is great. So I'm just being as like really aggressive early in the game here uh, before our opponent gets set up. And it looks like they missed the land drop too. So I'm just going with the, the Merfolk Mistbinders because before they can have Settle the Wreckage, I want to do as much damage as I can. Yeah, so they, they named Kumena. Yeah, um, Epi, you might have been able to see the deck list there. Uh, it was in chat just a little bit ago. Somebody hit exclamation point deck. You can find the deck right there. And I am putting it out here again. But here, I'll go ahead and show it here for just a second. Our list is, is working pretty good. That is three and one. We are one sleep away from being four and oh right now. Our opponent had that that sleep, got us pretty good. All right, Zerf donated for a deck tech. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see what we got here. Can I get your some feedback on this list of John mid range? I'm loving. John mid range. I guess I'm getting D&D &D commercials because on stream, like the other day, someone was asking me about D&D &D and I said I've never played it before, but it'd be something that'd be, that I think would be fun to play. And now I'm just getting, now I'm just suddenly getting ads on MTG Goldfish with that. That's weird. Uh, all right, so Branchwalker, Spellbreaker. I don't, I don't like Carnage Tyrant, honestly. I don't. I think that the metagame goes over Carnage Tyrant uh, pretty easily. I I don't think it's a, a very good card. Um, I was pretty impressed with Ravager Worm though, um, but I would rather have six mana of Raska or Ravager Worm if you want a six mana card than Carnage Tyrant. Um, or or just earlier stuff. I, I'm not sure Spellbreaker is better than Jade Light. But especially if, if you're playing Spellbreaker, the you want to be aggressive. Same with Angrath. So maybe just keep in... Like, honestly, like the two Carnage Tyrants are just a, a second Angrath and fourth Spellbreaker. I'd probably prefer that. Or another Midnight Reaper. Um, just other things. I, I don't like the Carnage Tyrants. And this is a lot of removal. I'm not sure if you need the Assassin's Trophies in the main deck. If you already have Coils, Bedevils, and Contempts, and then Finality. I think that's, like, I think maybe you want a, lo a little more pressure than Assassin's Trophy. If you, if you have, like, if, you know, if, you're, if we're playing Spellbreaker and stuff, like, you know, maybe the, another, like, the five mana Hellkite is another card to kind of consider. Or, um, but I like, I like Doom Whisperer. I would, I think... Trophy and Carnage Tyrant are my two least favorite cards here. That I kind of want other aggressive cards. Um, there, I could see like maybe even Rhythm in the main or something. Like early, like your early drops, you have. What if you just played? Actually, what if you played? 
for incubation druids maybe to help ramp into this other stuff. The problem is, is like if your opponent doesn't do anything on turn two, like if you're playing against control or whatever, if they have a slower thing, you only have four branch walkers as two drops. That's not very many. And then three drops, you just have five of them with just Spellbreaker and Reaper. That's also not many. Like, so you're basically only playing removal. Or, you know, like, so you, like half the time we're doing that. I, I would want more than just four two drops and five three drops. That's that's kind of like the problem I see here with this deck list. Um, so Carnage Tyrants and Trophies, you can get some more two and three drops. I don't have any red aggro decks. That's not a... Um, uh, deck that I play too much. Um, that's the biggest thing. More twos and threes. There's a lot of removal, which, but I mean, I think I think four contempt, three bedevil, three contempt is maybe okay. Maybe probably one of the bedevils or contempts could go. Like six of those. I don't know if you need six of those. Maybe five of those. Even just a couple Chupacabras instead is like something that's a body. You know, Chupacabra you get to find with Vivian Reed. You get it back with Find Finality. And so, like, it, it helps out a little more. Like, with it works with those cards, and it's also just a creature to play. So maybe a couple, maybe, like, two Chupacabras over, like, a Bedevil and a Contempt kind of thing. Yeah, Softball Wolf. I just mentioned you. But I, d I don't have a red aggro deck for you. Um, so th that's what I would recommend. I don't really like Ravager Worm as a sideboard card. I think if you want to play it, it's a main deck card. But I like Cindervines Theater, Brontodon. I like that kind of stuff. So Angrath's good though. Kind of want a second Angrath. Want a second Angrath and a few and some more creatures, earlier creatures. So, so there you go, Zerf. Hope that helps out. Thanks for the deck tech donation. All right, so we are three and one. Moving on. <laughs> oh, dude. I once tried to catch a cloud, but I missed. <laughs> Deck, why are you doing this to us? You've been so kind to us. Before. Why are we why are we going to five? What would you play in modern? In a tournament that might represent some heavy arc light representation in various colors. I think I would play... I mean, I would just probably play Bant. Uh, like, that's, like, the last deck that I was... That I played... That I, like... That I was pretty comfortable with. Like, my Bant, my Bant mid-range. Um, that's, you know, like... That was like Green White Value Town, but played Jace and Teferi instead of collected company and then had counter magic but i would i'd probably play that but then i would have i think i would have like maybe rune halo in the sideboard there like just to always take out all the arc light phoenixes Yeah, that card's going to be a problem. This matchup's going to be a problem. This is... This has got to be kind of bad for us. Like, with all the dep deputy attentions and hostage takers they play, that's all going to be a problem. I 
Deep Sandy's a problem. Everything's a problem here. I play a lot more green than red. Yeah, our opponent's going to have infinite cards because I'm not going to answer the thief. Kind of wish I discarded the spell pierce. That beats our five card hand. Turn two hero, turn three thief, turn four hostage taker. That certainly beats my five card hand. All right, shaper sanctuaries. Get some extra card draw in here. Dive down to protect my things. Spell Pierce out. Um, I guess this is a Tempest Caller matchup. We need to just like make big creatures with Kumena and give them Trample with Zagana. I'm just going to be bad against Thief of Sanity. I don't want to play Crushing Canopy or Incongruity to try to deal with Thief of Sanity. I, I don't want to put those in my deck. Sometimes you got to be bad against cards. I'm just going to be bad against Thief of Sanity. The, op the opponent's playing Esper midrange. Have, to have a lot of things go right for us to win this matchup. Yeah, I know Jeff doesn't like me. All right, that's a card. That's a card. Am I playing that? Am I just playing climb this turn? Am I going Silver Girl Branch Walker? I'm not gonna beat this thief of sanity. Uh, hero into thief. Still strong. Yeah, we don't we don't need to talk about Jeff though. Don't need to. Skyrim says, yo, I want to thank you for sh 
sharing the Rakdos burn deck with Pestilent Spirits, but doing wonders for me in best of one, actually. Awesome. Yeah, that does sound like that could be pretty pretty sweet in best of one. Yeah, Pestilent Spirit, that's a card that I, ha I need to just play more, just kind of in general. Um... We're trying here. Crushing Canopy, of course, would have been a good card to bring in against Thieves Andy, yes. Um, but it doesn't really do anything against the rest of their deck, which is still good against me. The Sandy is just kind of the one card in their deck that Crushing Canopy hits, and I was just kind of hoping to dodge Thief of Sandy, honestly. Sometimes, sometimes you just kind of have to dodge, and we didn't. That's what I was going for. Um, the... Um, Merfolk list was donated by D Toonster, and I I like I like D Toonster's list. It's been playing pretty well. I think the one card we're kind of missing here though is Sleep. Um. We still have a chance, though. We're, we're not out of this one yet. Because Wing Temple of Araska is a great card. So yeah, let's hit him for 10. And now, next turn, Zagana, like, if they tap out, we can probably win, because Zagana can give the Sil Silvergill Adept Trample. We have exactly enough mana to play Zagana and activate Wing Temple. So Zagana can give it Trample, and we can Trample over. So if they, if they just, like, tap out for whatever here, as long as they don't kill the 5-4. Yeah, that should that should do it. I think we won this one. Yep. Exactly lethal. Win a game on the draw. Kind of every card they play is just so good against us. It's going to be tough to win this. I need other Tempest Caller. The problem is, what am I taking out for other Tempest Caller? Maybe Branch Walker. Yeah, I'll trim a branch walker. Okay. 
All right. See, we got we got lucky one game. Can we get lucky again? Yeah, opponent did not respect the flying fish. Oh man, deck, you're killing me. So many mulligans. This match, we already have a tough matchup. All right, well this is a good hand. Oh lordy. Lordy lordy. Stop. I don't really need to stop with this turn two hero business. Okay. They stopped. That's good. Okay, we're not doing so bad. We need to stop drawing lands though. You know, we started with our two lander. Every every draw has been a land. We're we got enough lands. Need spells. We need our opponents to have more lands. They're down to three cards in hands. Okay, that's a that's a spell. I'll take it. That's a spell. I'll take that one too. You got me. Arch you have claimed the territory that was unclaimed previously. A little surprised they didn't. Oh right, they chump blocking because Zagana. Never mind. I was like saying I was a little surprised they didn't chump block, but never mind. Zagana makes that thing have trample. Tick up. Let's slow this down. Dang. I'm not ready for this. That Zagana was gonna kill them. Keep up the pace. Oh, come on. I have that card too. I completely forgot about that card. <sighs> this doesn't doesn't ever get easier. No, I think Teferi's pretty standard for the for the for our opponent's deck. No time for a break. Just so powerful. Yeah, Tempest Caller. Is our draw that we could have? We do. We do have Tempest Callers here. There's two in the deck.
More lands. Not what we need. Did we scry land at the bottom? No, we did not. We kept a land on top. Because we only had because we started with two lands. I'm not done yet. So I have Don't think we have an out anymore. Well, we came close. We got a game against them. That's that's a horrible matchup for us, though. Our opponent didn't even have like deputy detentions, which are like a card we can't really beat. Yeah, that's a that's a terrible matchup for us. The three two, and our deck felt pretty good. Felt pretty good overall. Let's see what we got for our prize. Oh, you just played that last night? Yeah, we're going to be playing Mardu Revel the Riches here in a little bit. But first, to kind of talk about the deck, I, I really liked it. I liked the the numbers that, that we had here. I thought the main deck was was really good, honestly. Um, yeah, I, I liked kind of all the cards in the deck. I thought this was a, a well-put-together deck um, that, you know, even though, like, Jade Bear isn't necessarily the best, I think it played pretty well. I really liked Biomancer. Uh, when we had it to uh, give us some more filtering and everything. Um, hey, TK, TK. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. That is sub number 10 on the day. Sub number 10 on the day. Thanks, TK. Uh, and looks like we're at 85, actually. Drop back a little bit. Um, so that means we're cracking open a pack here in just a little bit. Um, so our sideboard didn't help us out too much, but that, that was kind of like a little bit of just not drawing sideboard cards. Also, uh, I think sleep would be a really good option for the sideboard. I think, I think I want more things like sleep instead of incongruity. I guess incongruity is in here, like for a little bit of removal against cards like Lyra Dawnbringer that we saw from the opponent there. But I think in those matchups, I'd rather just kind of have sleep, um, yeah, I'm not not sold on incongruity. I think that's this is probably my least least favorite card. Same thing like Tempest Caller. Sleep's probably just better than Tempest Caller, but um, you know, if if you replace that, maybe you have some callers and some sleeps or or something like that, some combination there. Um, I like spell spell pierce. Like, I wouldn't mind another dive down. Also, like that's dive down's just a great card. Um, I wouldn't mind some more dive downs. Uh, so that that could kind of go in from that slot also but uh overall felt pretty good or maybe maybe even like vivian in the sideboard instead of incongruity where vivian can shoot shoot flyers like lyra and thief of sanity and stuff but you can also just be playing vivian to gain more card advantage um you know silver Girl adept and merfolk branch walker kind of help you hit your land drop same with benthic biomancer uh can filter through to help you hit land drop so even with 22 lands like some vivians in in matchups where they're uh, removal heavy may not be um may not be so bad but that's some stuff to think about but i liked i liked playing some merfolk so there we go three and two all right let's get this pack before we end the youtube video we'll go and crack it open here see if we get a mythic if it's a rare we're just getting gems ah it was just a rare just got some gems but um there we go all right if you're watching this later on on youtube um don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can say stay tuned for all the other videos. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.